Thrivecart PayPal IPN. We're going to deal with the scenario where you've already used PayPal's IPN and now you need to add Thrivecart to that equation. So just to be clear, PayPal IPN stands for Instant Payment Notification. It's a way for PayPal to let services know that some event has occurred. Now that second link right there in the media, middle is an excellent tutorial on how to set this up uh, with Thrivecart and PayPal. See that step two video. However, it doesn't handle a scenario where you've already used up that and now you want to use a, another IPN. Um, and even if you skip step two video, really what you need is the link at the bottom, which is the Thrivecart notification webhook URL, where it says subdomain, that needs to be your account name. Now, go ahead and watch the video, go through the steps, and uh, Thrivecart will give you the exact URL you need to use. So once you've done that and you have that URL, for this to work properly, on your web server, you're gonna to need to create a subdirectory called PayPal, or whatever you want. Let's just call it PayPal. And then inside that PayPal subdirectory, create a file called paypal.php. Now I'm gonna show you some code. I want you to copy, paste, and make the modifications to that code, and then save it. And then your new PayPal URL is going to be um, https example.com forward slash paypal forward slash paypal.php obviously replace example with what you want um, if you can use https that would be recommended it's not required for this to work but it's a little bit better to do that and inside paypal what you need to do is go to your profile find my selling tools instant payment notifications and if you've already used it there should be the word update. Click on that, click on edit settings, and then you should be presented with something that looks like this. There'll already be a notification URL. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So like I said, this is a great setup video. Step one is pretty straightforward. Step two is a little more detailed, and they tell you why you want to do this. And then effectively, this is the link that you're going to get from Thrivecart that you need to put into PayPal. However, we're going to do it a little bit different because if we've already used it once, um, we, we're going to have to do something different. And don't worry, this isn't the first time this has come up. There's a post from 2011 about this, and there is an answer. The person says, hey, I've got one IPN for this, but I need it for two. And then effectively, this guy here on this site has dealt with it. He did a good job. So on this site here, we basically copy the code he gave. And I made some slight modifications, maybe a little bit more up to date took away some of the features uh, because I want to be um, conservative and I just want to let information pass through. I don't want to restrict this. I don't want this to be the bottleneck. So if we were to go look inside here, in here you might already have, for instance, WooCommerce's PayPal IPN URL. So take that link right there. You're going to want to come in here. And I've already set this up and this is really the only part you need to notify or modify. So I've got multiple Thrivecart accounts, and yes, these names are not actually what they are. However, I want to do it like this, where I've got a name here, and then the URL over here. Now, it doesn't matter what this is. The important part is what's over here. If we were to do some filtering, this would come in handy. But just to be consistent, we're not going to do that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add another line. Notice there's a comma after everything. I'm going to use single quotes, which I should have done right here. Okay, and this is going to, I'm going to call it WooCommerce, and this does have to be unique, so it can't occur already in this, what's called an array. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, put the closing tick, a comma, and then I'm going to just save that file. So just to tell you what it does, basically it comes in, you've got a list of uh, URLs that need to be notified, not just this one, but all four of these. I've got a couple Thrivecart accounts, ChartMogul, WooCommerce, all want to be notified when something happens inside PayPal. And then it just goes through and um, does this, what it calls a broadcast, and sends the information to each of those URLs. One little thing I did add in here is what's called error logging. So, Whenever information is sent out, it logs it to a file called air underscore log. And it's kind of a good backup just in case things go wrong or you want to test it and make sure it's working right. 
So error log file will kind of show something like this. It'll put a time date stamp in there, and then it'll tell you what the information that was logged or sent, and it'll put it right in there for you. So that's kind of a way to double test that this work is working. So this code right here is going to be in your paypal.php file. You're gonna modify these lines. If you don't need this, you know, just simply remove it. And you wanna, of course, have at least one and you're gonna have a name here, any name you want, just needs to be unique, and then the uh, URL that needs to be notified when a PayPal event occurs. So that's how you use a PHP script to handle Thrivecart's PayPal IPN with other IPNs.